So you wanted to go over the game that you just played? Mm, yep. Trying to get into Earth Spirit, I see. Yeah, trying. <laughs> um. So the thing with first picking him is you're gonna run into a lot of problems of lanes not being gankable if the enemies, um, pick around that, like uh, the Pangolier. Um, yep. that you just played against, you can't really gank him too well. Um, yeah, yeah, I face that problem a lot, yeah. Yeah, it's just kind of like there's a lot of heroes that... Um, that that's why I pick Night Stalker and Clockwork first pick, because they're heroes that, even if they do have heroes that just, like, escape really easily, you can still do things and deal with them. Whereas a Pangolier, if you roll on them, you have to, like perfectly stun and then follow up with a silence and it's still not that great um, yep. until higher levels so you're gonna run into a good bit of that with um first picking earth spirit agreed So, um, I don't like how much regen you have. That's overkill as fuck. Um, yeah, usually, yeah, I usually just go over venom, and uh, over venom one tango, one salve, and two clarities. But I, I, I had to get dust this game, so I didn't have enough money for over venom. Just okay. thought I'd go two tangos. Um, I think, can you still get Orb of Venom from the side shop? They've changed that shit so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would have just, uh, waited for that. I think that's more important than having your tangos and yourself. Getting the, the, the Orb of Venom. You can get the Orb of Venom if you guys get two bounty runes. You can get it off of the start of the game here. Um, yeah. if you skipped a set of tangos and a salve, um... Like you would have had it, uh, you would have had it by now, if you started at the side shop, and went for it. Um, also on your gank here, you don't want to dust unless the guy actually goes invis or it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, so you you kind of waste ninety gold here, and if he's any good, he just won't go invis and he won't be slowed by the dust. But if you wait until he goes invis, um. The only way he can break his invis is either attacking you or using a clarity, which yeah. he, he doesn't really want to use either of those. But, like, he would have been 20% slowed here, and you guys could have killed him if you got the dust on after he invised. But yeah, this game, it's just kind of like, you don't have anywhere you can do anything, especially without your Orb of Venom. Like, you can attack this guy, but like, what's that gonna do? You might do some damage if he mans up and just dies. Alright, well, never mind. And then you accidentally use the salve on yourself, yeah. feels bad. That was sad. I was like being a bro and all. <laughs> yeah, and he just dies because of it. it. feels so bad. Um... Yeah, not too much to say about that. No. This was sad as well. <laughs> it was just kind of like, if you land the stun, it doesn't do anything anyways. That courier the, kill's the, awesome. The salve, though. He was salving up, that's why I tried to stun. Oh, gotcha. I didn't see that yeah, too I quick. Um, good. You should put your Orb of Venom on the Courier. I wouldn't fly it out, but I would put it on the Courier. Dust. Ah, yeah, uh, fucked up here so hard. Yeah. I apologize like 10 times for that. <laughs> like, yeah. You would have shit on this lane if you played it, like, perfectly. Um, it's just kind of like you're you're doing all the right stuff, you're just not doing it right, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that, there's actually not too much to say about the early game of this so far. Um, it's just kind of like, it, your early game's dumpstered now, that you made a few mechanical mistakes. You've been in all the right places and done all the right stuff, except for the... Like, you have six tangos and you haven't used a single one, and it's... Yeah. And then your salve also, you accidentally didn't do anything with it. 
Yeah, yeah. So you would have had your Orb of Venom a lot sooner. Um, you would have had your boots by now. Um, yeah. But so far, like, that's all I'm going to be able to say, because now you're just kind of, like, behind where you should be. Um, so there's not too much else to say on the early game for this one already. Um, do you have any questions on this? Mm, not really, but, like... Okay. So where would I be if I if I played everything properly? If you played everything correctly, you'd probably be like two or three kills up right now. You'd probably be halfway to earn. You'd probably be level five. Your Shadow Fiend <laughs> would have... He's died three times right now? He probably wouldn't have died a single time. He would have been... Yeah. He probably wouldn't have felt like he had to go drums, hopefully. And then, like, I think the game's... Um, at this point, the game's lost, kind of based off of yeah. the things that you did. Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of like anticlimactic that we're five minutes into the lesson and we already used up the replay that you... Um, so do you want to go to the other one? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, you can pick whatever, I guess. Okay. Uh, the, so the, like, the one before this, like, we just got dumpstered. Okay. Uh, very, very badly. Um, what think. we could do is try to... Um, we could try to keep this lesson to 15 minutes if you want, and then we'd still have another 30 minutes to do another, um, depending on how this replay goes, though. Because if this is another one, quick one, it might be good to just cut it at the 15, so we still have 30 minutes for another lesson. Okay. This was pretty bad. That's always good. <laughs> but yeah, the main thing is, if you're first picking this guy, um, you're going to run into a lot of games where you just can't do so shit. Do you, not, do you not first pick him, or do you just learn how to cope when you can't do shit? If you're, it depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to learn how to play Earth, hero, yeah. if you're trying to learn how to play the hero, it's good to first pick him because then you're going to run into his counters, and you'd rather run into his counters in a pub game than in a competitive game or whatever you're doing. Um, far off that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's if you want to fully learn a hero, it's good to first pick him. Like if you want to, if you want to learn Huskar, the best thing you can do is first pick him twenty games in a row. You're gonna lose yeah, all of your games. Game. Yeah. yeah, and then when you, um, if you can play him against his counters, you can play him not against his counters. Um, so this is a good way to learn. It's just you're gonna have a really hard time doing things. Um, in the early game at least and then that early game will make it so your mid games also shit and then maybe if you do good in the mid game regardless you'll have a decent late game yeah this was a very very bad game um you don't really need the second clarity um Fairy Fire is actually decent on this guy. I don't recommend it on a lot of people, but this guy, because he rolls in and then he right clicks for most of his damage, and it gives you a good amount of tankiness and outplayability, you might want yeah. to go for a Fairy Fire instead of a second clarity. Because. GH style, yeah. I think GH goes Fairy Fire every time. Yeah. Um, because you're not going to run out of mana until you're like level 2 or 3, and. Mm -hmm. You're like the only spell that you have costs 50 mana and it's on a 16 second cooldown. So you regenerate like 20 mana before you even use this. So until you're thrown in more spells, you're not going to need a clarity. So getting two of them at the start of the game. Also, you used to Tango? What? No, no I think I just. Did I use the Oh, you, you might have. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good you didn't salve there. I thought you were gonna salve and get it broken with the orb of venom. This is bad. This is no, horrible. If, had the, if, if we had the the Q, the whatever you call it, I thought we could have done something. That's this is still horrible. Play. No, that's horrible. Um, it's the damage of this. Like even if you hit all of them, it's like. The nuke, it does 40 base damage, and then let's say two heroes, so it's 100 damage right there, and then five creeps, so it's 170 damage AoE nuke. Yeah. Is that enough to jump into these guys? Nope. <laughs> because these creeps, 
like if you in the early game a creep wave is basically two and a half heroes so you get a 170 damage aoe nuke but you're like four and a half v2 because yeah. these guys are gonna like fucking wreck you especially because you don't have a stout shield so this is horrible and if they just manned up there you guys would have died Or you would have had to run away and have, like, no health. Now you're, like, out of regen and the game's not even started. All right, so that, oh, okay. That's yeah. just understanding how strong creeps are in the early game. Yeah. Just see them as, like, two and a half heroes. And if you want to take a 4v5 there, then it's good to go in on the creeps there. But if you don't, then it's um, not good. Um, and then this... Um, Worth? <laughs> something like that. Uh, uh, the the reason that I wouldn't be doing this is because it's an oracle and a marana, so oracle can set up for an arrow. Oh. And if you get arrowed, you're dead. I tried. I tried to to hide behind the neutral. Yeah. To get the arrow. It's just kind of like it's a high risk, low reward. This was such. Can you just watch that again, Tomo? Sure. Holy crap, man! Nice. nice watch this. Cool. And like, I'm like, turn it off. It's like, okay, and then I click on it, and they didn't turn it off. I'm like, turn it off now. It's like, no. <laughs> Feels bad. Yeah. And here I'm just like, ah. Uh. I think you're trying to do way too much, and that's your problem here. Uh, I, I can see that, yeah. Like in this situation, what should I be doing? Should I be TPing back mid? Should I just be walking? Or uh, you don't really want to TP as a support, a position for anywhere, at least not in the early game. Um, because your TP can mean like the difference between your mid getting killed and you getting your mid a double kill. Um, okay. Which happens very rarely, but it happens enough that yeah. you, you want to hold your TP for something like that. But yeah, this is also like you fucked around too much early game and you lost your ability to snowball. Or, like, do anything. Because now, Huskar, you can't roll on a Huskar, because you're just going to die. Um, the Marana has her leaps now. Um, Tiny's just going to stun and toss you. You didn't do anything early game to stop the... Tiny's a horrible offlaner with zero armor, and you didn't do anything to stop him. I think you should have started bottom and zoned this guy out. And then, like, this guy would be, like, level 3 right now if you started bottom. And you'd be, like level three and a half probably so i think that's what you should have done this game um does that make sense yeah hey um so i think that's also it for this replay um okay do you want to i think that's enough for you to get some games in like does yeah. uh, i, I think okay I just, so I, I didn't realize how, how costly the early mistakes are yeah um, so I'd say the main things are, uh, considering your region, um, like, you don't need to go, uh, six tangos and a salve, you don't need yeah. two clarities, <laughs> Orb of Venom's great, um, just go Orb of Venom, Fairy Fire, Tango, Salve? Uh, the, well, the reason that you didn't go that the game before was because there was a yeah, Bounty Hunter and a Clinks, yeah. so that was a really good game to go for the Dust first, um, the only thing that was a problem with that was, um, you also went an extra set of tangos and I think an extra clarity or some shit and a salve or something when you could have just started the game at the side shop and then got your Orbital Venom at the start and a dust. Um, you can't get the Orbital Venom from the side shop anymore. Can you not anymore? I don't think Wait. so. Wait, uh, uh, pretty sure you can. Uh, Dota 2 Orb of Venom. I'm not they, yeah. They've changed that shit so much that I don't even I don't even know There's if you can or not. The side shop, I think anymore other than like blade mail and boots and and uh, energy booster ring of health. I don't even know how to like look it up. No, I just trust me, trust me. There isn't. There isn't. Okay. 
Gotcha. Um, oh, well, yeah. even then, you could have just put it on the courier, and then when you're oh, mids, yeah. um, f- flying it out. It's it's better to have that to n- than to have six tangos that you're not going to use the first one until five minutes, and then, like, your clarities, you're not going to need one until, like, two or three minutes into the game, so having the second one, you're not going to need that until, like, five or six minutes into the yeah. game. And, Absolutely. like, small things like 50 gold on a clarity in the early game that you're not going to use until six minutes, 50 gold is... It's only 50 gold, but um, the way that I like to put it is 50 go- or 500 gold at the start of the game is much more impactful than 2,000 gold at 20 minutes in the game. So... It's just, like, you could have used that 50 gold for something else that would have got you a kill. Um, yeah. Or you would have saved somebody or something. So it's it's only 50 gold, but it's not just 50 gold. Um, but yeah, so... Agreed. Yeah, that, was, that was probably the quickest lesson I ever did, but I think that was <laughs> that was pretty... Uh, for 15 minutes, I think that's a lot of pretty good stuff yeah. for you. That's a lot of fruitful, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so... Uh, any final questions or anything? No, all good, all good, man. Hey. Thank you so much. Yep, I'll see you again soon. See ya, man. Peace.